I'm Professor John Hattendorf, for the Emeritus Professor of Maritime History here at the War College. I was here uh, during the presidency of Admiral James Stockdale, um, and we're here today to dedicate this conference room as the President's Conference Room in, in memory of Admiral Stockdale. And, well, Admiral Stockdale, of course, had worked, uh, had been in prisoner of war camp, and he had um, uh, suffered great deprivation and injury in that and won the Medal of Honor. So he was a great figure uh, of his own when he was here and a great example of leadership and, and uh, uh, moral uh, approach to, to studying here. One of the characteristic things that Admiral Stockdale did was, was every time we had an issue of the Naval War College Review, he wrote the, the, the president's forward to it, which he called Taking Stock, which was a, a great title. Every caught your eye, it was Stockdale taking stock, and it was always had a, a, a interesting things to say in it. Was very useful. Uh, this book here, uh, Epictetus and, and Caridian, is a very important book. This was a book that he had studied when he was a student doing his master's degree. This is a Stoic philosopher from ancient times, and he remembered these writings, and this is what carried him through uh, his prisoner of war experience. And this was also a key book in the course that he taught here. This book here is an important one, Foundations of Moral Obligation. This is Professor Joe Brennan, his colleague and, and partner in this uh, uh, teaching this course. And these are, these are Brennan's lectures and the, the best really source about the, the course of the, uh, what was going on in the course and the details of it and the different philosophical works and writings that they, the students studied here. This letter from the Naval War College Archives is the a letter that uh, Admiral Stockdale gave to the first students in the first time, the first iteration of his course here and he, he, telling them what to expect uh, in, as they approach the course. And it's a, a really wonderful letter uh, talking about uh, what they should depend on. Don't memorize the dates, get to the concepts was his idea, so a very important approach. So this is a, um, a bus by Felix de Weldon uh, from our museum collection here, which is the Naval History and Heritage Command. This is the original cop, uh, plaster copy. There is a bronze one elsewhere in the Navy, but uh, I think it's one at the Naval Academy. Captain Stockdale, you know, at that time, I think when he was uh, on board Oriskany just before, in the ready room there before he went off and before he was shot down, uh, that's the ship of Oriskany. The carrier Oriskany was the ship that uh, Stockdale flew off of when he was, um, when he was shot down in Vietnam in 1965. Here in this the furthest picture, here is uh, him as a Vice Admiral and as President of the Naval War College. He was a wonderful man to work with and he always had, always had something important to say uh, to you. He always took away some great idea, uh, some really a philosophical idea um, from him. And, but you always, he always went back and, and when he talked to him, he was always talking about his prisoner of war experience and how that had formed his personality. Uh, almost every everything he said, uh, either from the stage and the, to the speaking to the faculty and the student body, or in a private conversation, and you'd walk into the quarters, uh, the president's house here, and the first thing you'd see was the Medal of Honor citation signed by the president. Admiral Stockdale's legacy is certainly uh, in, in the moral foundations of and ethical foundations of what an officer does, and so having the president's conference room named for him. Is something we'll, we'll, we'll keep that alive and show how important it is, I think, to, to everyone at the college and, and in for continuing decades.